What's good? It's me, God Hunter, and in these type of videos, I'll be talking about my opinions on strong uniclear players, highlighting their strengths, and what I think they could possibly improve on for the future. Be advised though that some clips I used may be from units due to lack of player footage. You know, out of all the opponents I faced in Uni, I think Venice is definitely the one that I probably don't understand a whole lot. And what I mean by that is like, sometimes you just don't understand what he's thinking or why he does things, and I think that's a huge strength. Venice is probably like up there when it comes to people that are um, extremely unpredictable and just difficult to deal with because their uh, decision making and situations just is off the wall. And the thing is too, Venice is just explosive. His combos, his routing is like, is super good. So it hurts for him making a crazy decision and he's going to make it and you're probably not going to stop him. So yeah, he's definitely one of those guys that if you face him in bracket and you've never faced Venice, especially in a two out of three, there's a good possibility you actually might get smoked. I sure hope you know how to fight Elton because if not, you're not only not knowing how to fight Elton, but you don't know how to fight Venice. So yeah you'll probably see if you ever face him. And you know, in fighting games, it's absolutely important to know how to cycle your options. And you know, you might cycle like two or three options depending on the situation, but when it comes to Venice, he might cycle every option that a character might have in any situation, so you just might not know. And the crazy thing is too, if he gets that wild random like assault JA, that man knows how to convert off that. So it's like, bro, what? It's just so funny to watch. If I were to think about some ways that Venice could improve though, I would probably say that he needs to work on maybe some situational awareness of when he probably should or shouldn't do something just a little bit more. He tends to get a little bit antsy on defense and tends to pick an option that probably is a little too risky and gets him killed. Because there are a lot of times where I've seen him have good, good life leads and he made maybe like a bad decision in a situation that wasn't that serious, like that risky, but he made it really risky by making too many extremely risky decisions, <laughs> funny enough. Overall though, I would say players like Venice are absolutely a necessity to fight because you are going to run into those types of players in tournaments and you need to fight all types of play styles. And legit, he's a blast to watch if you ask me, so there's that too. But yeah, I don't want this video to be too long, so that's about it. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely have more of these in the oven. And this is also my first time doing this type of video, so it's a little rough around the edges. But thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later.